All right, how you doing today? Uh, thanks for tuning into everything and anything videos. I am going to show you some two DIY projects that you can do with a VCR tape and a can of vegetables. Stay tuned. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We're down here in my messy ass basement. Um, I thought I'd seen a whole bunch of like DIYs on uh, like. Different safes and some you know, me hidden things in the house and stuff like that, and I came up with this idea. I haven't seen it on uh, any uh, channel yet or anything like that. So, um, if if you have, you know, I mean, let me know and then I'll check that video out. But uh, this one here is a can, and instead of uh, cutting it on the top like regular, if you can get um, either they sell the can opener that cut it from the side, or you can get a handheld and then do it yourself. But you want to cut it from the side that it opens up. And then once it opened up, <clears throat> once you get that out, and you clean it out and stuff like that, and then the next step I'll show you. All right, we're down in my basement. Once you uh, get the can cut out, uh, you want to trace it on a piece of wood, and then uh, cut that out a round circle, nice little round disc. Then what you want to do is uh, get a disc sander or something like this. And then let me sand it down smooth so that ah, sand it down a little smooth so that this actually fits inside the can. Okay, once you get it in this right size to go fit in the can, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, I got. Sanded it down with one of those there sanders, little bell sander, and then uh, that fits in there perfect. That. Nice. Now what I want to do, now what you gotta do, is find the right side of the lid, and then you want to epoxy this to that. And that's about it. Well, I couldn't find any epoxy, but I got some Gorilla Glue. That should work. And then what you want to do is just... If there's any in here, it's thick. There it comes. A little bit. I heard a little bit of this works. Wonders. But I like a lot that over there for now. Make sure you have the right side. You don't want the date and you want the one that you cut off. And you place that on there. Smear it around as much as possible. And you want to turn it over. Set the can. So you get that thing in there. And then you want to line up your... You want to line the wood up with the can. It's kind of hard doing this way. By myself with this camera. But once I have it lined up, you'll see. Because right now... See, it's not really on that lip. It's a little off. So you want to make sure it's centered on that lip. So it's not off center. Alright, once you get it into a contraption like that, and you squeeze all the juice out of the sides, uh, make sure it's even as possible. If not, you can go in and correct it once it's dry and just shave off what edges that you need to be even a little bit but yep yeah, just let that cure and we'll come back to that all right the project is finished and uh, I made two I have a sweet pea and a green bean um, like I said they look like regular cans you put this in the back of your cabinet with on top of your other cans now you don't 
I wouldn't use green beans or peas because during a zombie apocalypse or something like that, I mean, I'm going to take as much food as I possibly can. But um, I would use something that someone's really not going to eat, like an outdated can of beets or uh, chickpeas or lime beans, something that, you know, or an outdated can of spinach, something like that. Just put it in the back of your cabinet, you know, in the back of uh, something else like spaghetti soup or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And this one here, this one here is, uh, I used a magnet, round magnet, to put that one on. And you know what I mean? That's what it looks like inside. And then we got this one here, which is harder to take off. Because that's the wood one that I just showed you how to make. And with that, um, just, it holds pretty much. Just, you know what I mean? It holds pretty much. And with it being in your cabinet. Amongst your other, among other uh, cans and in the back of the cabinet, in the back of your cabinet, on top of other cans, you're not really going to tell. Now, I did see uh, someone do um, hidden stuff like this. Uh, King of Random. Uh, something Thomas, I forgot what his name was. But um, I'll just see if I could put his channel link on, on, my, on this video. But he does one with a mayonnaise jar. And it's pretty neat. He colors it. He takes a little dish and puts mayonnaise in it and puts it on the top. And when you open it, there's mayonnaise there. But when you lift that up underneath, you probably have all your money. And it's pretty neat. You got to check his uh, channel out. He does some random stuff. But as for this video, this is it. That's what I want to show you guys. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for your support. Be on the lookout for more videos. Alright, VCR tapes. Not a lot of people uh, collect or have VCR tapes, but I'm a pretty, pretty good collector of VCR tapes. I don't have that many. But I do have a few. But what's cool about VCR tapes, they're really obsolete. So uh, they're very, they go unnoticed. Um, so perhaps like a burglary or someone tries to rob you, they're not going to steal VCR tapes. They're really not. Unless it's something that, you know, that they really like, like a collection of... Uh, the Terminator, you know what I mean? Connection of Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I mean? Something like that, you know what I mean? They might take. But, you know, let's see. Something like, uh, let's say uh, this one here, Titanic. Remembering the echoes of Titanic. Someone's not going to steal this. There's, there's no way. I mean, why would someone steal... A VCR tape nowadays, it just makes no sense. Um, but what's cool about this one, it's a dual, dual tape. So uh, I'm going to show you its secrets. Titanic Secrets is inside. Alright, this is Titanic Secrets. Let's see here. Let's see what Titanic Secrets have. So what I did is, you get two tapes. Two tapes together. And when you release this, look what's in there. That's pretty neat. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got a couple of bills in there. Uh, nice, what is that? A, a tag watch. Watches. 
nice little old watch uh, and a couple of rings I mean it holds pretty much I hope it holds a lot um, I would give you a D DIY about it but I mean pretty self-explanatory take one uh, tape cut both sides off try to cut it evenly this one here you want to top one you want to you, know, you want to screw it leave it on took the insides out glued those back on same with this glued these in here took all the little bits and pieces out this piece is just sitting on in there um, and then the edges are glued it's kind of hard to do with this camera but the edges are glued together all the way around and I had a little lip on one of them just so I can glue it on the end. There you go. Nice glue. There you go. Now you can see the glue spots. Just around the edge. Just to make it a deeper well. And then, like I said, you can hide money in there. And you put some money in there. I mean, throw some rings. And you put your uh, watch in there. And then you close it all back up. And then with it closed up, it looks like that. But then when you slide it in its sleeve, it looks like that. Pretty hidden. So echoes, Titanic echoes, something, whatever, remember. And then we put it back up on the shelf in the far corner. That's my front entrance. So when the door is open, it's not really blocked, but it does kind of hide it. So if someone does come into the front door, and that's what that is. I'm not saying I keep stuff in there. <clears throat> But I just did a, did that for a demo, just to show you what you could hide in there. But yeah, and it's among all these VCR tapes, no one's going to know the difference. I figured that would be a pretty neat little hideaway safe for you guys to do on by yourself. And that's about it for that one.